The vision for Colonnade's recent redevelopment was to create a vibrant and active market hall. The project really came to life through a careful attention to detail and really utilizing that vision uh, to test whether or not we've achieved that. So the attention to detail, whether it's the, the metal detailing, it's the wood, the timber, uh, and making sure that it really related to the, to the local materiality and the local context. The inspiration was based on the studies on real markets that exist today. We looked at our local Victoria market in Melbourne, and we also looked at international markets such as Chelsea, New York. The design works so well because it's different to the existing centre. We were very conscious of creating something that had a contrast in the look and feel. So the atmosphere, the colour, the texture was very different and separate, so it enhanced the Fresh Food Market precinct. Um, we purposely um, chose materials that were sort of a rustic reference, um, had a certain tone and a texture that again referenced back to a traditional market. Any design that we do regarding retail, we're always conscious of the end user and their experience and the principles of design are applied. But in this instance, we actually challenged some of the principles of the design um, because we wanted to create quite a natural flowing space. It wasn't a very um, formal tenant and shopper and mall space. We wanted the shopper to cross over the tenant space and the mall space naturally. So we blurred those lines of the, of the tenancy. Um, we even encouraged a lot of the tenancies to purchase and lay the same mall tile so that there was a blurring of that line and people naturally walk through the space. So whether they're buying fresh um, fruit and vegetables or whether they're stopping and pausing having a cup of coffee and cake. The centre's impacted the local region in a positive way, we think. It's also created opportunity for, for locals to be able to trade from the precinct. And so when the shopper is to purchase, they feel good that they're purchasing you know, from a local um, provider. The vicinity um, grand promise is enhancing a community experience. And what we wanted to bring to the local area is exactly that. We're trying to create something that they don't have today. Uh, and so this marketplace, this market hall, really does that. It's, it's an offer that the local area doesn't have, uh, and they don't have to go to, to Adelaide to get it. It's uh, an experience that they can have in that region, uh, and it speaks it is of that region, which is uh, which really important to us as a, as a business. It's important to our brand promise, and it's important to our purpose as a company. The Bucking Group is a global firm. Um, and they have access to all of the global best practices. Uh, and so at Concepts, it was really about um, bringing forward uh, the great marketplaces to influence the concept. And their access to those global uh, projects and those projects of the world was really critical to that. But I also think that um, whilst that was really great at, at, at the up, up front of, of the process, uh, the Buckingham Group really stepped up uh, towards uh, the end of the project where um, they were able to come up with great solutions that were cost effective when we were running into issues with budget uh, that kept the design intent, kept the vision, kept the concept so that we would deliver the best product uh, that really met all the markers and met all of the purpose.